Hey guys, it's Jim and Aaron. Welcome back to another Clash of Clans video. Today we're checking out the new level 12 archers in Clash of Clans. That is right, we just got them here today. And I thought we'd test them out to see how they are and also do something fun with them, which is an all archer attack strategy. Let's see if they're very good. We're going to put up against a Town Hall 13, then a Town Hall 14. They see if they can actually perform and actually survive mortar shots. Because, you know, new level archers usually always get one shot. So hopefully this time around, they don't but we're gonna find out out here today so let's get right into it so we found ourselves a nice channel 14 attack with the new level 12 archers of course i could not find any channel 13s in titan league so we're gonna attack a channel 15 instead i don't know how that's gonna go but hopefully it won't be absolute massacre but i think our new archers will do it and want to quickly say this the new archers look so freaking good besides them being like all green they like kind of blend in with the grass they are pretty sick so we're gonna drop in some kind of just clean on the outside of the base here but you can kind of get a look at them they're pretty good on the outside here just like the design wise i love the green aesthetics them now i don't think they're like the best looking archers in the game but i definitely think they are one of the top tier 100 and they are pretty strong with the new upgrade nothing too insane and it takes like two archer shots to actually break them uh break them from an archer tower so yeah something they kind of just keep in consideration so what we're gonna do is clean up the outside of this base real quick here then after that you know what we're gonna do we're of course gonna get ourselves our big attack in here so i brought ourselves a siege i think what the plan is we're gonna go from the top here all the way inside the base so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna drop my king i'm gonna drop in of course our queen then we're gonna drop in our siege and what my plan is to go for the town hall and use the frost might actually just freeze everything in place while the actual like archers go in the base because like they should be able to just get in here with no problem and if the siege actually makes it to the town hall as long as they get past the second segment there we'll be chilling so what we're gonna do is now drop in of course our frost mites in just three different spots then we're gonna spam in our archers like so and of course we're gonna spam them mostly on the corner here on the outside of the base just because of the fact that one we want them to go inside the base and stuff like that and two like there's a lot of them and we're dropping our RC in the back over here to clean on up with the warden and then we're of course going to drop some more thrall smites in here and activate the king's ability which of course is going to send him inside the base to actually kind of just butcher everything in there and he gets a 25 percent damage reduction with of course the giant hammer and of course the archers are all going for that one king because of the fact that every time i drop them they just target the king and it's just kind of awkward so our rc is in the base right now they're versing also we're gonna use some more frost mites over there we're gonna drop in of course our new archers to get that cc and then if we one star i'll be impressed but i don't think we will but we'll of course see what happens to that though rc's ability is going in there she seems to be doing something i'm not entirely sure what but uh i don't think she's gonna get it because those what is it the super minions are kind of just dogging on them actually the warden might get it oh we actually got it i don't know what happened but it looks like the mites do damage over time but it's such a small amount that i didn't even notice it but yeah uh town hall was it town hall 14 with the new archers uh they're it's okay like an all arch attack yeah you can use the clan on the outside of the base with ease and you probably take forever to drop all the men but it's definitely not the most strongest thing to do of course these new archers and uh yeah the good thing about this though we'll be able to upgrade our barbarian afterward to the next level and then i plan to do a video on an old barbarian attack and the second part will of course be a what is it a barge attack so if you don't want to miss out on that video get subscribed i'm definitely looking forward to these level actually 12 barbarians they got a unique design it's kind of interesting they kind of got like what is it reindeer design or even like uh what is it what's a deer design antlers i don't know this looks interesting very much i cannot wait to actually try them on out so we're gonna check this base here which is a, just a newly upgraded town hall of 16 so like literally the only thing he has upgraded right now is actually is his town hall to the new level and of course we're gonna attack this base because how open it is and you know what we're gonna do we're of course gonna drop in i think what we're gonna do is our heroes in front and we're gonna use frost mites we're just gonna drop them all over they kind of just do everything we want with the actual thing so we're gonna drop the ice here here there and there and you know of course near the back too then what we're gonna do is drop in our king queen champion warden then what we're gonna do is slowly spam in all of our archers like we're gonna go all in like all in the front like they are not gonna stop how many archers we're gonna drop in it's gonna be an absolute massacre we're gonna send them all for the town hall too and we're of course gonna refrost my a few things in the front and back and then with that though we of course are just going on in we're gonna activate the king's ability of course in the outs of the base we're just gonna spam as many archers as we can i actually just realized there's a poison tower going off that's why they were dying i was like wait how are your archers just absolutely getting disintegrated it was because of the fact they had like okay who they literally have a bunch of traps in the front of the base you're so annoying to get out of here just get out of here bro let us drop in as many archers as possible to take out that town hall we will send in every archer in the game to get that town hall we will send so many archers oh they're just getting eviscerated by the uh thing so yeah scatter shot still one shot archers but uh not that surprising but uh damn they got clapped 
but our warden did something at least which was absolutely nothing i was really hoping we just have like a bajillion archers in the core of the base but unfortunately we weren't able to get that but still new archers pretty cool pretty strong definitely wouldn't recommend using them in an all attack because honestly they're just gonna get butchered i was surprised we even got a two star on the first base and literally the frostmates just clutched up now what we need to do is put the archers for the real test this is the test that defines if they're actually useful which is collecting resources can we get good resource collecting so this guy's got 700,000 to 600,000 loot you know what we're gonna do we're gonna do a classic farm strategy in clash clans like i don't think i've seen that many people actually use this as i used to be but like hey we're gonna try it on out will they be able to get that gold source with no problem at all of course especially with the new level they should be able to easily get it you can just see the loot is getting we're getting that profits boys and you know we can just do it again like this is the way to use archers not like using them to actually attack or anything the way they just collect up loot especially with barch barch i'm looking forward to just testing to see like how strong it is like every time they release a new level like archer or barbarian it like barge just like it's getting stronger and stronger to the point where it's getting actually kind of like ridiculous like the power creep in this game is not very noticeable but when you see it finally in clash of clans it's it's there it is definitely there like clash of clans is definitely getting the point where they're having power creep in the game is it really bad compared as Yu-Gi-Oh? definitely not but can i say it exists absolutely i will definitely say it definitely exists in the game but not to the degree where it's like super like oh my god it's gonna ruin the game and stuff like that you know what i'm saying either way though we're gonna drop in our heroes now to actually send them inside the base while we actually send of course our archers on the outside and you know what we're gonna do we're gonna of course drop in some frost might all along the base to actually you know help out our king and queen just go right on in there we're gonna send in the rc as well with the warden and we're gonna have a hero dive you know we will send you know some archers with them we'll like try to at least and then with the warden ability too uh, my warden now can do uh, was a 30 percent damage reduction that reduction increase when he actually like attacks and what we're gonna do is send out all of our archers we of course got the frost mites we're gonna drop them in in the back here and with the actual thing and of course you know queen king are just going into the base and they're kind of just doing their thing and demolishing we're gonna drop more frost mites on the back here and like they're doing pretty good i'd say war rc is activating her ability she's getting on here and here getting that action we're gonna double frost bite the town hall i'm surprised still that they haven't taken it out yet i think it's because of the fact that they're kind of like preoccupied with like all the skeletons because people in this game are super annoying with the whole like putting skeletons near the town hall like it's smart don't get me wrong but at the same time dude come on just just let me have it you know just let me have your town hall for free bro oh that's all i'm trying to do but yeah we didn't get like all the loot in this space because most of it wasn't actually like the storages not the collectors they never seem to be collectors anymore but i still say we profit a pretty good sum with the new archers in game let's let's see the, actually the final results what's the final results we got ourselves over 50 percent of the gold and we got near 30 percent the actual like elixir not that much and we got most of the actual dark elixir say so i say archers are really good for farming if you want to use them that way but that is of course the new level 12 archers in clash of clans now my question for you guys here today do you like the designs of the new level 12 archers or do you prefer the was the was the level 11 archer design let me know in the comments down below i'd be very curious to find out out but uh yeah if you guys enjoyed my video here today make sure to smash the like button get subscribed so you don't miss the future clash of clans content i'll see you for another one g-man out